Well, hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new video and a brand new series on my channel, Building Skyscrapers. This will be the very first skyscraper of the series. This will be a very simple tutorial and a two-part tutorial. This here will be part one. Let's go ahead and get this started. Well hey everyone welcome back to a new video and also the first video of the new series skyscraper series where I'll be doing skyscrapers so as you see right here we have a frame or the structure of the first skyscraper now this will be a part one of this skyscraper now we will be going over each block that I already have here and we'll be switching these blocks out again this will be part one of this first building here so I hope that you all enjoy the new series and if you do please drop a like down below now let's look at the dimensions right down here so this is gonna be a hundred and twenty three blocks tall and the bottom base will be sixty three by sixty three also this will be 59 blocks in between where we see the yellow and red here so right over here the far left side this yellow and the far right side right over here that'll be 59 blocks in between there I just want to make sure that everybody knows the dimensions and get this fitted in where it needs to be at all right now again I'm gonna go over each and every block now this that I used was the block of coal and the high definition texture pack is easy to see and count the blocks and also this white block right here in this texture pack is a sea lantern and the glowstone is very similar so you guys can use that as well now I'm gonna stick with the white and black of this building but you guys can swap these colors out to whatever that you want now this black I'm gonna probably just use black concrete or something like that and the white probably white concrete alright so let's go ahead and start this off with this framework now you see we have arches all throughout this building here so let's start with this front side here the very left side of it and this black here is going to be six blocks tall so one two three four five six so six blocks tall there and then going to go in a block it's going to be one two three four and on a block again it's going to be three and again two and again one and again two and again and you have one and then two and then you gotta have two single diagonal and then you're gonna have two this way and then a single here two more here and then a single and two more and then it's gonna go to three and then from there it's gonna be four and then from there it's gonna be eleven so from here to here that'll be 11 this here will be the middle block I just used for the framework so 11 here so this is the middle so you have 5 and 5 with this being the middle alright now going down this way you're just gonna copy 
and do the same thing as what we've done there. So I'm going to go over this part a little bit quicker here. So you're going to have four, three, two, one, and then two, one, two, one, one, and then going down, it's going to be two, one, two, one, two, three, four, and then the six. Alright, so now you should have this black arch here. Okay, now what you need to do is go right here in the middle where we have 11. I marked it out here. And you're going to go on the inside. So go ahead and place a block here to mark it. Go on this side here and place this block. And counting this black block here, counting this one, going up is going to be 40 blocks. All right, 40 blocks from here all the way up to here. So the black blocks there is 40 blocks. All right, now once you've got this one right here, which is number 40, then right here will be 41 on top. All right, so this block here being the middle, you're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So again, it's going to be 11 blocks long right there. All right, now once you have this 11 here, let's go down this left side first. And again, this left side will be the same as the right. That way it's a correct arch. So, once you have this 11, you're going to come down this way. It's going to be 4. And then you're going to come down 2, 2, 2. So, you got to have three 2s, a single, and then another 2, three singles. A two, a single, a two, a two, and two. So you got three twos right there after that single. And then here you're going to have four. And then from there you're going to have six. All right. Now again, this side over here will be the same, so I'll go over it a little quicker. So after you have this 11 here on this side, be 4, 2, 2, 2, 1, 2, and then the three ones here, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, so three twos, and then 4, and then 6. All right, now once you have that one, then now let's go ahead and do the final arch right up top. So again, like what we did down there, go on this back side, right back here, this middle. So make sure you have all this lined up. Makes it much easier. So go on this back block right here. Remember, go in a block. Very important. And this block here, going all the way up, Again, it will be the same. It will be 40. So 40 right there. And number 41 will be here, just like what we just done. And then up here, again, it will be 11 blocks. So once you have the middle here, it will be 5 and 5. So 11 long here. Alright, now once you've got that 11 there, then on this side, we'll do the same thing. Go down this side, and then we'll go down the right. So, after this 11 there, we're going to come down here at 3. 
three. So you got those two threes. And then you gotta have two, one, two, and then you're gonna have one, two, three, four, four singles, and then two, one, two, and then three, three again, and then after that it'll be six. So again, it'll be the same on this side. So let's go over this quickly. So three, three, two, one, two, one, 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 one. So four ones there. Two, one, two, three, three, and then six. All right, now. Let's go ahead and come right up here. The very middle, you're going to go in a block. Again, very important. And this will be 10. So from this block here, going up to here, will be 10 blocks in between. Alright, now once you've got that, so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven eight nine ten this top row will be number ten all right now once you've got that then go ahead and come down here you got this front side here so all you have to do is you're gonna have to copy that on all the other three sides now what I done was I used the structure block now if you do know a little bit about the structure block look down below in the description it'll be a little bit more advanced for this but I use that uh, I've done a tutorial on the structure block how to use it and it'll help out make it a lot quicker so check it out down below now if you don't know about the structure block you don't want to mess with it then it'll just take a little bit longer so let me just show you what you'll need to do so from here you're gonna go in like this you're gonna have a corner block that like just like that you're gonna go in this way and you're gonna have the six here the four here the three here the two the same thing as this arch you're just gonna go in like this have a block right there okay and then again you're gonna have 59 blocks from here to there and then you're gonna do the same technique you're gonna find the middle block here you're gonna go up by 40 you're gonna copy the second arch here find that middle block go up by 40 and then do the third arch on top and then you're gonna go up by 10 then once you've got this 10th block here, just go ahead and come down to the corner here and connect it up to here. Now once you have the top all squared out and you have all four sides, then what you need to do is take this top corner and all the top corners will come down at the same spot. So this top corner right here again this is just a framework this top corner you're gonna go straight down so let's follow this this black here will go straight down the very bottom to right here now let's look at this corner here so if you go inside here it'll be the third block okay so if you go in the corner here you got this one two three so that top that very top that we came down with will end up right here 
Again, I'm just trying to make sure that everybody has all this measured out correctly because this is the framework and this is the main part of the build. Alright, and as you see, I went ahead and cleaned it up a little bit. I swapped out the blocks. So the white colored, again, I chose the white concrete. Remember to keep the middle marker blocks in place. That way, again, to make it easier to see where the middle is. Self-explanatory. So again, I have the white concrete up top, the two arches up top. And then down here at the bottom, I swapped out with the black concrete, as you see here. Again, I kept the middle markers even down here at the very bottom. And do that all the way around. That way it's much easier later on. All right, now right down here at the bottom, we're going to work out how we're going to do the entrance. Now, go ahead and copy what I do here on all sides of this building. So first off, let's go ahead and come right over here to the very end. I have the anisite right here. And then here I have the black stained glass panes. There's six of them in between here. And then another anisite. And then six more glass panes. And then another anisite here. Now that there is the same on this side as well. So as you see, anisite here, six of the glass, anisite, six glass, and another anisite here. Alright, now right here in the middle, what we're going to do, we're going to have three anisites. So here's the middle marker block. So three anisites here. You got six glass on the right, six glass on the left, and it ends with anisites on both sides like this. Now here for the entrance, instead of doing regular doors, I'm going to do the rotating glass doors right here. Now... I'm using the high definition texture pack so in this texture pack the cyan glass looks like this and the purple stained glass panes that's the two glass that I'm going to be using for this so what I've done was right here place two of those cyan stained glass and these here will be three tall and then I took the purple stained glass and what we're going to do with it is we're going to go the left here the right here and then we're going to come out here and then in the back so it'll come out like this right here on this side same over here and I chose this different glass here to kind of make it stand out make it more noticeable alright now come out on the right side here just like so and then go to the back again copy the same thing that I'm doing here on the other three sides as well alright now once you've got that then now let's go ahead and take this anisite here and come all the way up until you get to right here. Alright, now once you've got that, and again it'll be one, two, three, four, five that we're gonna add on to it. You're gonna do that to all these anisites here. One, two, three, four, five. Again, carry it all the way down the same way. Now right here in between we're gonna grab the anisite stairs. They're gonna go upside down just like this right here they're gonna go in between each of the anisites once you've got that then you're gonna grab the black stained glass panes and you're just gonna simply come in here and fill this right here in now when you get to here above this just simply carry this all the way down this will come up and then you're going to take the black stained glass panes and you're just going to go right inside here just like this. That will also separate this rotating door as well. So go ahead and do this here on that side 
and go ahead and fill all of that in and continue the same thing all the way around. Alright, now what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and come right over here, take this anisite, and we're going to go all the way down right on top of this. Just like that. Once you got that, then now take this on up. Just like so. And the same thing right over here. So this going up just like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab this site pillar here and we're going to go straight on up. One, two, three, four, five. That's the same as this. So this is one, two, three, four, five on the windows. Alright, now we're going to grab this glass. Come right here. One, two, three, four. And then this will go all the way up. Just like this. Alright, now once you've got that, you gotta fill this glass in. Again, the same thing on the other side. And then you're gonna grab this stair. And this stair is gonna go upside down, just like the one below. And then this is gonna come up just like that. And also something else I didn't mention earlier, up under these windows I have the light gray wool just to give it a little bit different texture and as well right here in the doorway as well. Alright now what we're going to do guys is we're going to come right over here and as you see we have an arch right here in the middle. We're going to get to that in just a second but first Let's grab this pillar here, this anisite between those windows, and we're going to put two more windows right here. So, one, two, three, four, and five, and then this stair again upside down, coming across, make that six. Alright, so now this stair here will come straight on across. And then this anisite here will come straight on up, just like so. Alright, now again the same thing on the other side as well. So fill this in with your glass. And then right here, as you see in the middle, we have this arch. So this middle here, from earlier in the video, the middle of the building, is going to be the middle of this arch right here okay so right here this pillar looking at it like this that pillar and this pillar right here that's the ones that we're gonna come up from alright we're gonna come up with the inner sight one two three four on both sides here so one, two, three, four. And then right here will be two. Right here. Two. And then two single. Just like this. This side as well. And then from there as you see we got two here and then two here. Now in the middle here we have five. One, two, three, four, and five. Alright, now once you have this, again, we'll be all the way around the building the same. Go ahead and take your glass. The same glass is down here. And this here will be filled in as well with that glass. All right now once you have that this is what it should look like so what we're going to do now is we're going to take this anisite up right here six blocks so here one two three four five and six 
and then this here in between you're just going to go ahead and simply fill this in and yeah you guessed it the same thing on the other side as well and this side will also be the same all the way around the building all right now you're going to go ahead and take this pillar up the same one two three four five six this one here one two three four five and six and then you're going to take these upside down and set stairs all the way across and then you're going to take that glass fill that in and then now what we're going to do guys is we're going to go ahead and take this stair right here and this stair will go across this way and it will meet up with this side here just like so so you're gonna have those windows filled in do the same over there now grab the smooth quartz stairs and upside down right here let's go ahead and fill this in just like so I hate when that happens all right so just go ahead and take this on down fill this up just like this right here all right now once you have this here then now let's go ahead and come right here in the middle again right here Go ahead and take this straight up, meet up with that right there, and then now this here as well. Again, the same thing on the other side is what we're doing here. This here will come up like that, and then this part here would just be simply filled in, just like this. Alright, and now we're going to take this glass here, one, two, three, four, five, and then with the stair, just like that, this will be filled in with the glass, this here, take this, and then fill this right here in, just like that, over here, once again, one two three four five take this stir on across fill that in with the glass and then just go ahead and repeat on the other side as well all right now once you have that then grab your glass and just simply fill this right here in with your glass both sides there and it'll go all the way up against this black right up here so again, just fill that in, both sides with your glass. And once you've got that, then now what we're going to do is we're going to take this arch right here. With this black, we have this first set. The second set right here is what we're going to do, start at. So you just go simply take this on up, another layer like that. So you got two here. And then the third one, which is these two here. You're gonna double it like that. That way it's two blocks coming from there and one block on this one. So here, two on these, and it's gonna be two all the way up and over, just like so. So the other side's gonna be the same as this. So looking over here, we got the first set and then the second set here. You're gonna come up one layer, and then you're gonna take these two here. One, two, one, two. You're gonna double these up, and you're just gonna meet that up all the way up and over. Well, all right, now once you have that, then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this not so flat. I'm gonna grab the granite slabs in this texture pack. They are black, so if you're using this black in your building, use the black or a dark half slab. 
Now whatever color that you're using, try to match that color with that half slab. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this half slab right here on this stair. I'm going to come on across like this. And this is going to go all the way down. Just like that right there. Now what we're going to do is come down here to this level. And we're going to do the same thing. So right up under there like that. And this will again go all the way across. Just like so. Alright, now what we're going to do is going to come down to this next level here. And this one off this stair will come out to right here. Again, go all the way down. And yes, the same thing on this side as well. Just like so. Alright, now down here, as you see that we have these, this is two and these are one. The reason for that, grab yourself a color choice. I'm going to use the cyan wool. And I'm going to come right here. And this will come straight on down. Let's see, we'll come down to right here. And we'll do the same thing over here. Let me know down below what color choice did you guys use. Alright, now I'm going to make this one more layer. Alright, now I'm going to take this slab. I'm going to go up under. Just like so. And let's just go ahead and go all the way down. And I'm going to come to right here and come out like this. I hate when that happens. Alright, let's try this again. So this will come out to there and then this will come out to there like that. And then up under here, let's just go ahead and fill this right here in real quick. This would be like a uh, awning over the entrance, I guess you would say. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to grab the Dorite wall, or in your texture pack, a white colored wall, and then the stair to match that Dorite stair with those Dorite wall. Alright, now, we're going to go ahead and come right up here. Take this door right wall straight up. Take this slab, replace it with that. And now this will simply come straight on up like that. This here, replace it with the stair. And this wall here. So you're going to go ahead and do that all the way down. So I'm going to do it one more time right here. So again, this will come straight up just like this. And then this stair here. This wall comes straight on up to here, replace that stair, and then this will also come straight up to here. Replace that, and then put the wall there. So again, go ahead and do that all the way down. All right, now once you have that, this is what it should look like. Now this will be the end of part one for this tutorial. What you need to do is just, again, copy everything that we've done right here. On the other three sides now if you do know about the structure block the structure block will be your best friend in this tutorial now if you look down below in the description I've done a tutorial on the structure block how to use it and everything like that so you can follow along with that or just build it manually block by block yourself so again guys thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time in part two